sun is shining, blue sky, roof down, by Turbo V8, singing up front. I'm being joined by Mr. Joel Domit. How are you doing? doing? It's what a pleasure. A, what a beautiful day. What a beautiful day. To go car shopping. Yes, please. <laughs> Don't make me spend money, Paul. Now, we have been on a very exciting journey together. We started life on YouTube, on Supercars of London, if you remember, in your F-Type, going to look at AMG GTSs. I was your automotive consultant. Yes. Today, you've employed me to do exactly that, but you're selling your dream car, and we're going down to G Kirby. I'll explain a little bit more about that showroom and why it's special. You may recognize a familiar face when we get down there but you're looking for something a little bit more sensible? Yes, just slightly more sensible. Slightly. I'm quite happy for this to be the most amazing car I ever own in my life. I feel like this is my this is my peak. Okay. I'm quite happy to just come down the mountain a little. Okay, so if you were gonna be ticking three boxes from a car that you are looking at today, what would it be? Still cool, but less cool. S still cool, but less cool. <laughs> um, uh, not lose too much money, so maybe a little bit older. Okay, so something that's already, someone's already done the depreciation yes, for please. you. Number and three. A little bit more practical. Okay. The McLaren 12C drives past. Let's see what they have on. I want that one. <laughs> <laughs> Is that really a good idea? I want, I want this one. <laughs> I'm gonna rethink my, th my three conditions. <laughs> this, is, this is not ticking any boxes. I'm ticking none of the boxes. <laughs> ticking no boxes at all. This it is- hasn't even got doors. <laughs> it's not even ticking the door box. <laughs> Cage from 7, 620S. It's probably faster than that. I mean, Basically. it is faster than that. Basically a bathtub, isn't it? It's a bathtub on wheels. <laughs> pretty cool though it's the coolest thing i've ever seen but we've made it we've made it down this really really nice winding country lane it's absolutely beautiful. to g kirby yes. and joel's bottle of water so yes here we are at g kirby the g stands for grant because grant is a friend of mine that i used to buy and sell cars from southern sky motors but then when southern sky motors stopped grant came down and started to do his own thing they've got a really nice eye out here they've got this cage room here which is super aggressive and unique and then inside we have some more sensible cars and here we have joel sensibly looking at one i want this one really i genuinely do really love this i've been looking at it on the website a lot so this is the car that we are down here to see yes and now I'll tell you what, a Porsche 911 blends in, it's practical, it's sensible, it's an everyday supercar. This one's got gold wheels. It's slightly less blending in yeah. with, the, with the gold wheels. But it looks cool. Does look cool. Yeah. Golden, golden white. Yeah. Is that a cool, is that a cool thing or a... Or it feels quite one? Miami Vice. Yes, please. It feels like <clears throat> you're adding a little bit of special feeling and flavor to a car that, if this was black, would you even look at it on the road? It's true, it's true. I feel like I could drive it with my top off and everyone would be like, yeah, that fits. <laughs> <laughs> they've got a manual Audi R8 there, RS3, RS4, GTR, another R8, they've got a BMW 1M. I mean, that is a car that you could buy and not lose money on. Oh, really? Yeah, that's going up in value. It's insane. But also, these C63s, 2507 edition. So this is like the final edition they did. This is the last of the 6.2 naturally aspirated V8 in the uh, C-Class form, which is pretty cool. I don't think you'd lose any money on one of these either. Really? Mm. Just a little bit, a little bit dated inside compared yeah. to the new C63. I love these. You just know all the, you know all the stuff. You're like the David Dickinson of cars. That's why I'm here. <laughs> That's why I'm the, Automotive consultant where Joel needs cars. Yes, please. <laughs> should, we, should we drive this? Yeah, let's just let's drive it. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Ed. <laughs> this is going to be a, a different experience to that GTS because it's rear engined. It's not mid engine, it's rear engine because it's the engine's over the yeah. rear wheels. The rear wheels. Yeah. Um, 
Four seats. Yeah. So I you, can, I can fit uh, three more people in it. I haven't got that many friends. You're my only friend, Paul. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm still going to have to get in the back because I think Grant's going to come with us. Oh, great. <laughs> and what else is there to talk about? Probably depreciated a little bit as well. Yep. So that fits that condition. And it's still cool. Alcantara, red stitching to match the brake calipers. It's very sporty. I love Alcantara. Is that? It's a, it's a small extra condition, and I think that's making my choices more expensive. Okay. I well, Alcantara it. steering wheel is now an extra box that need tick. I think it might be an extra. I think, that's, oh. I think I've now got four boxes. <laughs> <laughs> I would love it if I'd have, had Apple CarPlay. But I no, you can't add a fifth box. Can I add a fifth box? That's going to be too expensive. I don't it? think you can have... You can't have a... Not, a car that's already depreciated and have Apple CarPlay. Yeah. I think let's get the keys from Grant. Let's get a camera set up. Yep. Carrera GTS, naturally aspirated. This is the good era of GTSs. Yep. I actually quite like this, you know. I really like it. Because I, I think people mm. kind of... You don't necessarily look at Porsches, and that's what's kind of good about them. You look at them if you know them, and if you don't know them, you're like, oh, that's a cool car. Yeah, if you don't know cars, you just look like... You go like, that's cool, yeah. yeah. But if you do know, yeah. you're like, oh, that's a GTS. Yeah. That's a naturally aspirated e engine. Exactly. Not, not an exhaust. It's, um, but this is also white with gold wheels, so it's a bit like, ooh. Bit larrier. It's a little bit larrier. Oh, this is difficult. Oh, this is difficult. Now you gotta get in. Musical chairs in the Porsche. We'd look so weird to anyone having lunch in this pub. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all swap. Let's all swap. <laughs> I want to go in the front now. Um, right. How do I do it? You turn it. Oh, it's warm, isn't it? It feels warm. We can. We can. Bottom at the front, yeah. A bit more analog, if that's the right turn of phrase, than the, than the GT, GTC. Is this the first Porsche you've driven? Uh, yeah, in okay. fact, actually, I drove. This is kind of partly why I really love it. I drove a GTS before I bought that car, and ah. sort of thought about it because I, then I'd never driven a Porsche before. And okay, so this is your second Porsche. My you've second driven. GTS. I've never driven another one, but um, I really, um, I really love them. I just. Out of all of the Porsches for me, it feels like the one. It feels like the yeah the high middle level. I yeah. A, for a lot of people, and for me, it's a sweet spot because it's it does every, it does a lot of the things that, that the sort of the high GT stuff does. It's a little bit more hardcore than the, the Carrera S is. It's, it is literally smack bang in the yeah. middle of what we were talking about. Yeah. A little bit higher than a daily Porsche, yeah. and a little bit lower than a special weekend Porsche. Yeah. This is the, this is that middle ground. If you want a daily and a weekend car in one, every Porsche drives so well. Yeah. And like when I was younger, I just didn't get them. I just saw no. Porsches so often that they uh, they were never exciting. They were never an exotic, no. like in the same way a Ferrari or a Lamborghini was. But now, having driven some and experienced them, even like a Macan, yeah. I yeah. love the Porsche Macan. I think yeah. it's such a cool car. Haven't you got one at the moment, a Macan? I did, we sold it yesterday. Oh, okay. So we sold it when I, that was a really cool car. It's, um, but as you say, it's funny because I don't like Q5s. And I, I, and I don't know what it is because it's technically the same floor plan, but the Macan just feels right. And I, it I, does. I can't put my finger on it. I think it's the, it must be the steering. Yeah, it's just, Cool. I'm not a big. I like big four wheel drives, not small ones. Yeah. But that is. I, I, I used that white one for a while. It was. Um, yeah, really enjoyed it actually. So we've like got some boxes that Joel's looking for in a new car. Yeah. And he added a fourth box, which is an Alcantara steering wheel. <laughs> <laughs> which is which is hard. It's hard you know to. What? It's, it's really funny. I'm really funny with steering wheels because actually this again, is lovely. Being, 
it's the one thing, it's the touch point, isn't it? That you, yeah. You sort yeah. of interact with the car, and yeah, it's it's so important. Drive a car with a rubbish steering wheel, we can let the whole car down. Yeah. It's really funny. There's a few things that. That's why I love BMWs, like the M3s yeah. with the really chunky steering yeah. wheel. You can properly grip it. Yeah. Imagine, because I sometimes drive barefoot. Alcantara pedals. <laughs> So amazing. <laughs> you feel like you were sort of like prodding a dog with your toe, like <laughs> yeah. Just got a few builder bears down by my feet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just strap some to your pedals if you want, mate. <laughs> yeah, it's true, actually. It's a DIY. Yeah, barefoot, such a Leona Lewis thing to do, you know? <laughs> like, so free. It's connect, it's, connect better with the car. Connecting with the car. <laughs> it is nice. A good steering wheel is like a good pair of shoes. Yeah. yeah. Now you're in, now you're probably in the paddles. Does sound good. Do you feel do you feel excited driving this? I do, yeah. It feels really different. Do you feel like you're sitting over the front wheels? Yeah. Sounds good. Look at Grant in the back. Look <laughs> You fit you fit much better than I do. Imagine. <laughs> he's making those noises himself. He's got the exhaust. He's trying to sell the car, he's like <laughs> Does sound good. It rat sounds really nice. Enjoying the cavernous rear seats. <laughs> yeah. Even the even the rear seats are Alcantara. Yeah man. It's a lot, isn't it? Yeah. Alcantara everywhere. Like the GTS spec-wise, carbon looks good in your rear. Cup holders. Oh my God, look at that. Oh, that's cool. Both cars next to each other, Grant and Joel having a discussion. So I will show you guys around the two cars. Joel's got the dark gray slash black GTC, red details all over it. And he's leaning towards a white 911 with gold wheels. Did you just say you don't like Porsches and you don't like white cars? Yeah, I think I like this one. <laughs> I don't like Porsches, I don't like white cars, but I like this white Porsche. <laughs> <laughs> it does look so cool when it's out underneath natural light. It is a beautiful looking car. Gold wheels, red calipers. When you park them next to each other, you kind of realize that even though they're competing for the same customer in many forms of life, AMG GT versus Porsche 911, they are so different. So even though someone that has a hundred grand to spend on one or the other, and yes, Mercedes are competing with Porsche for customers, they are two completely different experiences. One being a rear wheel drive, very tail happy, European muscle car and the other one being a very clinical almost daily driver sports car Don't get me wrong. You can daily drive one of these But you'd much rather daily drive one of them the dimensions and the ease of use and the visibility on this compared to that With the long nose and bonnet and the way you look over the steering wheel on a AMG GT product is It's a lot tougher to drive and navigate through streets. Whereas a 911 it's just easy, you don't even have to think about it, but because it's got the white paint job, the gold wheels, potentially an aftermarket exhaust, which is currently inside, you still get a buzz and an excitement around driving a car like that. So they're gonna have a conversation, we're gonna see how things go, and I'm gonna catch up with Joel once he's had this very serious discussion. <laughs> oh, I reckon your um, mango is a little bit warm. No, it's gonna have some, some sweet warm mango. Do you want it? Yeah, I'll have some mango. Let's finish the video whilst Joel eats mango. Mm. Right, that was pretty successful. Oh, that smells really mangoey. Does. I think it's been fermented. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Let's drive back. No car has been purchased because you are very sensible. I'm a sensible guy. Yeah. I think I almost did. And then I looked at you and you went, Joel, don't. <laughs> you gave me a look. No, 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 I would not give you the look to be like, don't buy that car. Look how good it looks in the rear view camera. Oh yeah, this is a good way of, look, should we do that? Look, there we go, look at it. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to test drive some other things, but 
That wasn't a pointless journey. I want to let you know that. Okay. Essentially, this isn't a pointless YouTube video. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Thank God, because most of my idiots go shopping now. But that was fun. I got to experience the Porsche GTS from the rear of the car and from the passenger seat. Now we have to endure the M25, and seeing as it's just rained, that means everyone forgets how to drive and I'm sure there's gonna be traffic, so you guys don't wanna see that. But, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next edition. Are you actually putting the roof down? Putting the roof down. <laughs> it's not raining right now. It's fine. I'm trying to use it as much as possible for a set True, true, true. Keep it, keep it, keep it going, keep it going. Stay tuned for the next episode of Joel Dormit Goes Shopping. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, comment below on what you think Joel should buy. Oh, that's a good one. That's an interesting In the realms one. of <laughs> seventy to eighty thousand pounds, a little bit like that Porsche GTS. What would you buy? Remember those three boxes: cool, already depreciated, and practical. Or maybe just a Polo. <laughs> Gosh, it keeps talking about Polos. <laughs> right, guys, I'll leave it there. See you later. Goodbye. Hey.